Good afternoon everyone, I hope you are all having a wonderful time. So today's vlog is about why the rent in this area is so cheap. That's the topic of today's vlog. But I'm not talking about the area that I'm walking now, but to the area that we are going now. So if you are interested to know an area in Sukhumvit which the rent is so cheap, then stay tuned till the end because today we are going and checking that area. Let's walk. As I said, my friends, now I'm walking from my condo. I will take BTS to the area that we are going to explore today and see why the rent is cheap there. Yesterday, I was talking with a friend that recently moved to Bangkok and he was saying that he had a contract for three months at that area in Sukhumvit and he paid only 7,000 baht for month. So imagine three months, only 21,000 baht as a rent. So I was like, let's check that area and see why this area is so cheap and if it's good for you to stay or not. You can see from the pictures that how much food options and shopping options are available in this area and if you want to know much about Prakanung and Onnut you can watch my vlogs one of them is why I love to live here in Bangkok I explain everything to you about this location in Sukhumvit but you can see also from these pictures that it's a very busy area lots of food options shopping Till we reach the BTS and go to another station and check the area there. So now we are next to BTS bearing, which is after Bangna. So we're gonna turn left. If you continue like this, you can see from the pictures, BTS bearing also so famous. And I see that the area is here much more active from Bangna. We're gonna check the area later and see what are the options. So let's walk and check what is this soy about. You have a big 7-Eleven here, some street food, you can see now next to BTS bearing it's much more pleasant it's not like Onut but at least you have some food options 7-elevens and again check out this the moon full moon and let me show you that's the sky train and this is the action at the beginning of the soy. Seems interesting. Let's walk. These people are standing here in line to take motorbike taxi. So you go out from the BTS and wait your turn to take a motorbike taxi because lots of people they are staying away from the BTS. So paying 15 to 20 baht and getting to their accommodations so what do you think nice soy near bts bearing so we are exploring this place together you have here a coffee shop grand coffee boy so if you are staying in this area, no worries, you have lots of motorbike taxis, taxis, tuk-tuks, food options, shopping. And I think we are near Soy One. Yes, this is Soy One. Of course, if 
you don't want to walk from the BTS, you know what's the option now. It will cost you only 15 to 20 baht. But if you are like me, you like to walk, especially in the afternoon, then no problem. Let me give you an idea, guys, also that these places, apartments, are not condos. And usually you can get them for four, five thousand baht. Those are the range if you like to stay in such places per month. But of course you have to find the dealer or the owner in order to rent it. And they are for long term, cannot rent for one or two months. So let me show you a little bit around if you like to stay in such places. So of course you have shops and the apartments above. But if you want to compare this place to the street that I'm living, then this one is much more nicer and calmer, wide sidewalks to walk, not annoying motorbikes. So that's a good point. All right, this is Soy Tree. And the condo that we are talking is located as you see at soy six so it took five minutes maybe less i don't know walking till here so let me show you this is it guys bless place that's the name of the condo let me check so this is from outside not so far from the BTS Bangna and this is Soy 5 okay although there are lots of motorbikes but you are safe you are walking on the sidewalk this is the name of the condo once again Check this out. They are studio like condo because it's written they are studios. And look at this, that's the BTS Skytrain. And this is Soy 5 and 6. Well, it's nice. So he is staying here and he got a deal for 7,000 baht per month. It's nice entrance, couple of blocks. We are not going to enter inside because I just contact him. He's not at his condo, but let me tell you all the condos inside the furniture, the decorations are almost the same in this area, so no worries. But if you continue a little bit further, it's more local. And if you want to stay in this place, then you can find deals less than $300 per month, including internet. Well, my friends, it's a really nice place to stay, by the way. A couple of stations away from the hustle and bustle where I stay, you know, I have made the vlog about my soy. So busy, too much street food, but here you have also lots of options. And if you continue like this, there are some, many options of food and shopping. And the best thing is that you have sidewalks to walk, and it's not so far from the BTS. You can see the BTS from here. So I'm gonna cross to the opposite side because there are a couple of food courts there so that you can have an idea about also the surrounding of this place. And if you like to stay, then go for it. So 
this is BTS bearing. We are going up now to the opposite side. As you can see, there are some food courts there. Let's check them. If you ask me, I like the area. I should consider to stay next time here once my contract is over. There is also a school here and football field next to the BTS. Check this out. And of course, don't forget to check the moon. I love it, full moon. So, a nice football court. This is, let me check, international school. I think it's San Andreas International School. Okay. Also, that's an option for you if you love to practice some football skills. As you see, from here you can see BTS Bangna. This is BTS bearing, not so far. So if you are staying in this area, so no worries. So you have a food court and a market here. It's called Ponsai Market. Small copy of the previous, if you remember, Rachada train market with colorful ceilings. Well, let's go down and check. So my friends, as an idea, that road that we have covered is called La Salle Road. I don't know if I'm pronouncing right, but it's called La Salle Road, the condo that we have covered. And you can see here, nice colorful tables tonsai market or maybe we can make a vlog about this market once it's busy and you have also a stage where people perform cool and the bts of course so let's check around i think the market is divided into two parts a part where you can eat food options and another part where you can sit and have some drinks and enjoy some music i guess so so let's check the food part see we were talking about rent now we are in a food court near the condo that we were talking about so nice night market and it's not too much busy local night market and the prices are so cheap Comparing to the other parts of Sukhumvit, you can have a dish of fish with the vegetables and the sauce barbecued only for 100 Thai baht, which is around $3. Here it says 20 plus, so if you are less than 20 years old, you cannot enter. No weapons are allowed. That's another option. Well, that was an idea about this local market it's a really nice area to stay it's so calm and wide places to walk night markets food courts good transportation options motorbikes taxis bts and uh, moreover a lot of options to stay with affordable prices but also another thing that i realized it's more local than Onut and Prakanu. You cannot see too many foreigners here. But so what? If you like to stay a couple of blocks away from that areas and pay very affordable rents. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog and had an idea about an area in Sukhumvit where you can stay with very affordable rent prices. 
thank you for watching i'm gonna cover up other places once i have any news about the rent from people that already staying there thank you for watching again stay tuned and subscribe for more from live love thailand